One Story a Day for Beginners. Published by DC Canada Education Publishing. Book three for March. Story one. First hospital visit. Baby Ethan is sick. He has a fever. His mom takes him to the children's hospital for the first time. There are many children there. All are waiting to see a doctor. Some children are two or three years old. Some are even younger. One baby is just a few weeks old. Her dad is carrying her in a basket. She is crying. But Ethan is not. He is playing with the toys in the waiting room. Can I check your story three? Grandma's chicks. My grandma loved little chicks. When the salesman came to our village with his little chicks, she carefully picked ten chicks to bring home. Somehow, she had a way of choosing the chicks that would grow up to be hens, not roosters. We loved to help her take care of the baby chicks too. Day by day, the little chicks grew bigger. After eight months, they laid their first eggs. Cluck cluck. Story four: World of Light. Long ago, people used candles to see at night, but now we have electric lights. It seems like our whole world is filled with lights. There are lights of all colors. There are big lights that light up soccer fields, and there are little flashlights too. We have so many lights that you can see them from space. Maybe we should turn out a few lights. What if we turned out some of the lights? Story five. Our moon. Let's go to the moon. What do we need to take? We need to take air to breathe. There is no air on the moon. We need to take water, water to drink. There is no water on the moon. We need special clothes too. Why? It is cold on the moon. When we get there, we will look back to Earth and say, "Wow, what a beautiful place we live in." That's our beautiful home. Story six, bookworm. Do you know what a bookworm is? Is it a worm that lives in a book? Yes, there are worms that like books. Can worms read books? Of course not. Bookworms just like to eat the paper. Bookworm has another meaning. When a person really loves reading books, we call that person a bookworm too. I love books. Story seven. Want to fly? Birds can fly. Bees can fly. Many kinds of insects can fly too, but people can't fly. Long ago, people tried many ways to fly, but people are not birds. People are not insects. What did they do? They made a big balloon. They put a basket on the balloon. They filled the balloon with hot air, and up they went. And look. Look way up in the sky. What's that? 
It is people flying in a hot air balloon. What a story eight. Teddy. Teddy is my friend. He is a brown teddy bear. He has two big brown eyes. He wears red shoes and a blue hat. Wherever I go, I take Teddy with me. He sits beside me in the car. When I go to sleep at night, I put Teddy beside me. Teddy is only a toy, but Teddy is really my best friend. <music> Sit tight, Teddy. Story nine. Ladybug. I am small. I have six legs. I can be red, or brown, or orange. I have black dots on my back. I have wings. I can fly. What am I? I am a ladybug. People say that I bring good luck. If you see a ladybug, count the spots on its back. You will have good luck soon. Farmers like me a lot. Why? I eat many bad bugs that farmers do not like. You're a farmer's friend. Story ten. Mr. Fox and the Tree. Mr. Fox plants a tree in the spring. He takes care of the tree, and he even talks to it every day. It makes him smile. His friend Danny does not understand. Why are you talking to the tree? asks Danny. I'm helping it grow, says Mr. Fox. But the tree cannot see or talk. Danny still doesn't understand, but it can feel, and so can I," says Mr. Fox. The tree is happy. Story eleven, crossing the street. When Mario came to China for the first time. He couldn't cross the street. There were too many cars, buses, and bikes. Even at the traffic lights, he was afraid to go. Mario was smart. He waited until many other people started to go. Then he put himself in the middle of the crowd. He safely crossed the street. Go fast. Story twelve. Colors of the rainbow. See that rainbow in the sky? It's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and purple. Red on the top, then orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo. And then purple at the bottom. Every rainbow has these seven colors. These colors are always in the same order: red, red on the top, purple on the bottom. Red and then orange. Story thirteen: Farm animals. I live on a farm. I'm only eight years old, but I can do many things. When I get up in the morning, I feed the chickens. I open the gate for the sheep. I give the goats water. In the afternoon, I gather the eggs and I brush the horses. In the evening, I bring the sheep back. Once, 
I saw a baby goat being born. That was amazing. I love my life on the farm. Good boy. Story 14 Easter Egg Hunt In Canada, we celebrate a holiday called Easter. It is a springtime holiday. My sister and I love Easter because we get to go Easter egg hunting. An Easter egg is chocolate that is shaped like an egg. The Easter Bunny hides Easter eggs for us to find. This is called an Easter egg hunt. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Look, I found one. Story 15 School Bus 1 Karen likes the big yellow school bus. When Karen sees her sister get on it every morning for school, she wants to ride the bus too. But her mom says, Karen, you are too young. You need to eat more, sleep more, and play more. Then you will grow big enough to ride that big school bus. Karen understands. But she wants to be a big girl soon. Bye, Karen! Story 16 School Bus 2 From then on, every day, Karen asks her mom, Am I big enough to go to school now? Her mom says, Not yet. One day, Karen's mom says, Karen, you are a big girl now. It's time for you to go to school. Tomorrow, you can ride the big yellow school bus with your sister. Are you ready? Yes! Karen is very excited. Her dream to ride the big yellow school bus will come true. Today, you're coming with me. Story 17 A Day All Green. Today, I see many people wearing green. I see some men wearing green hats. I see some girls wearing green, wearing green skirts. And some boys wearing green t shirts. Why? My mom tells me that it's an Irish holiday today. It's called St. Patrick's Day. Why do they use the color green? Well, that's a long story. Mom says she will tell me about it later. I can't wait! Happy St. Pat- Story 18 All aboard! In school today, we learned about a train that travels to the roof of the world. It travels from Beijing to Lhasa, high in the Himalayan mountains. That would be the greatest train trip of all. If I had one wish, it would be to take that train to the roof of the world. What a train ride! Imagine the sights and the things I would see. Choo-choo! Story 19 The Cat Family The cat family is very big. The cute little cats we have in our homes are part of this family. But there are many other cats in the cat family. Lions are cats. 
Tigers are cats too. Leopards are cats, and so are cheetahs. Cats can be big or small. They can be fast or slow. They can be one color, or they can have spots or stripes on them. You can see cats all over the world. We are a big cat family. Story twenty: The Butterfly. One day. We were playing outside. Suddenly, a big purple butterfly flew over to us. Let's catch it," said my sister. We chased the butterfly and caught it. It was beautiful. We put it in a cage. Soon, the butterfly stopped moving. We realized. That the butterfly had to go. If we kept it in the cage, it would die soon. So, we set it free and said, "Goodbye, butterfly." You are free, butterfly. Story twenty-one: Zoo animals. My class went to the zoo today. It was fun. We watched elephants use their trunks. We saw lions rest in the sunshine. We watched polar bears swim in the water. Weeder, we saw monkeys climb trees and birds fly through the air. But best of all, we watched a peacock fan his tail feathers. It was so beautiful. I want to see that again. Look at story twenty-two. A new song. We learned a new song at school today. It's called "A Happy Family." I can't wait to sing it at home. I love, I love you. You love me. We are a happy family with a father, a mother, and a child too. Two plus one in our family. Do you know how many people are family? You guessed it. There are three people in our family. I learned a new song. Story twenty-three. Do worms sleep? Hannah likes worms. She wants to know everything about them. She asks her mom, "Do worms sleep?" Mom says, "I don't know. Let's search for the answer." Hannah and her mom read about worms. They learn that worms have no arms, no legs. And no eyes. They live in the ground, and they eat leaves. But do they sleep? Yes, they do. They do. Sweet dreams, everyone. Story twenty-four. Red toy car. Johnny loves his red toy car. But the wheels fell off while he was playing. He began to cry. His mom gave him a big hug and said, "It's okay. It's not broken. Look." She picked up the car and made it fly through the air. Now it's a flying car. The wheels made it too heavy," said his mom. Johnny stopped crying and said. A flying car! Wow! Now you have a flying car. 
Story 25 Cat Adventure 1 My mom was worried. She had not seen our cat all day, but she could hear her meowing. We looked all over the house. We looked in the kitchen, in the bedroom, and even in the bathroom. The whole time we could hear her meowing, but the cat wasn't anywhere in the house. Finally, I looked outside and there she was. Our cat was on the roof. There she is. Story 26 Cat Adventure 2 The cat went up to the top of our house. Someone left the window open and our cat jumped outside and onto the, onto the roof. It was too high for her to jump back down. Finally, my mom climbed up and carried the cat down. She said, you should think about coming down before you climb up. Think about coming down before you jump up. Story 27 Want an apple? Jack brings his lunch to school every day. His mom makes his lunch for him. She puts a sandwich, an apple, and a banana in his lunch bag. Jack does not like apples. Who wants this apple? he asks. Me, his friend Kate says. Here you are. Jack gives the apple to her. Thanks, Kate smiles. One apple a day keeps the doctor away, she says. says. Apples are good for you. Story 28 A Rainy Day It's raining again. Mira doesn't like that. Why does it have to rain? asks Mira. Without rain, we can't live, says her dad. Really? Mira doesn't understand. Yes, we would have nothing to eat, says her dad. It is true. Just think about it. The plants need rain to grow. The animals need plants to grow. Without rain, we would have no food to eat and no water to drink. Oh, no! It's raining again! Story 29 Tomato Plants In early spring, Uncle Ted planted a few tomato plants in his garden. A few weeks passed. The plants were still the same. Uncle Ted said to me, My tomato plants are not growing. For the last two weeks, they're just sitting there, waiting. Waiting? I asked. What are they waiting for? My uncle said, The sun! The heat! Keep growing, plants! Story 30 The Cow Didn't Listen Mr. Lee went to the city with his cow. He followed the animal as it crossed the street, not noticing the traffic lights. Stop! a policeman said to them loudly. He started to write a ticket. Mr. Lee said to his cow, Stop! Didn't you hear the policeman? But the cow kept moving forward. Mr. Lee said, You see? It's not me. It's the cow you should give the ticket to. Here is your ticket. Story 31 Nature 
Two young people are talking about art. Do you know a great artist? asks Evan. I think nature is a great artist, says, says Emma. Why? asks her friend Evan. Well, remember seeing the trees in autumn? The leaves change into many colors. Yes, they are really beautiful, answers Evan. That's why I think nature is the greatest artist, says Emma. The leaves are beautiful.